here talking about the cloud today yeah. as one of those key successful innovations when it comes to how that can drive companies to be better on a sustainable level. There are two aspects to it really, Oral. It's, it's kind of the way that you can use technology to drive sustainable innovation and also the way that technology itself helps meet some of those sustainability goals. So if you think about it from an organisational standpoint, cloud gives organisations an opportunity to help achieve their ESG goals, to help tell their stakeholders that they're being more environmentally sound. Um, but equally, it allows them to digitally innovate. And you know, it's a hot topic at the moment, it always has been. Uh, and use technology to drive innovations for their clients to, you know, if you're an organisation in the financial services industry, how do you use technology to ensure that your portfolio of investments is, is economically and, and environmentally sustainable? You know, these are the sorts of things that we're seeing our clients start to think about. Here's a question for you then. Can companies meet their sustainability targets, transforming at the pace that is happening today? I don't believe so. Mm. And, and the reason that I don't believe so is that the expectations of their stakeholders, the expectations of the industry are, are changing at a rapid rate. The pandemic created an opportunity for those companies who were already on the journey of digital transformation to leapfrog their competitors. And, and it really created this illusion that said, actually, if we weren't transforming, we had to transform quickly. And so like any kind of you know, revolution, emerging from the pandemic is gonna be a step change in technology that, that will never go away. So Peter, if companies aren't transforming fast enough to meet those sustainability goals, those sustainability targets, what needs to happen so that they can? Technology alone isn't enough to kind of create the pace that's required to, to, to digitally transform. People and process become so much more important in generating speed in these transformations. And, and that starts with embedding digitally savvy leaders into organisational roles where they can create impact. It, it comes to communicating the value of the change and the transformation such that people understand in the organisation that, yes, there may be automation coming through, but that it's not going to be detrimental to their role. You guys are doing something really interesting with Green Cloud Advisors yeah. um, and certifications. T tell us a little bit about what you're doing there. So we have two aspects to our certification process that we're rolling out uh, and have been rolling out for the last little while. One of them is what we call uh, a Cloud Advisor. Um, and they're individuals within our organisation who spend some time with Carnegie Mellon University in partnership with, with that uh, space. And, and it's a full week of training and it teaches you all about the cloud and, and where the cloud is fundamental in digital transformation and really helps our um, you know, senior leaders and, and key stakeholders inside the organisation better embrace and communicate with our clients the, the impact of that change. With MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Sloan School of Management, we've, we've partnered with, with that uh, institution to create the Green Cloud Advisor. And, and it's all about building upon that Cloud Advisor strategy to then overlay the sustainability angle. So how is it that organizations can satisfy the ESG goals with technology? What does it mean to be a sustainable organization?